time series graphs just describe basically what something is doing throughout time. Now that could be hourly or weekly or what something has done over the last 10 years. Just kind of tracking what happens. That could be something like the price of the Kiwi dollar against the US dollar or the price that you get for milk solids or the temperature of, you know, Christchurch every summer, anything like that. What's going on from year to year, from day to day or month to month, etc. So when we talk about these, we're going to talk about the long-term trend. And this is the overall big picture. Generally, what do we see happening? And you can think about using your line of best fit, like we do for scatter graphs, to describe the long-term trend. Seasonal variation, or short terms, peaks and troughs. If you imagine mountains and valleys, peaks are what we think of as the tops. Trough, I guess I can do it this way. Trough is the same thing as a valley. It's the low point. Peaks are the high points. And seasonal, this could be things that we see happen every summer and winter, for instance. Um, they can also just be short-term variation. It doesn't necessarily have to do with the seasons. But these are the cyclic or slash repeated patterns that we'll see happen over and over and over again. And any unusual outliers, again, similar to scatter graphs, anything that's outside of the trend, um, and that could even be something like, you know, a particular summer that was colder than the rest of the summers. So in these descriptions, you need to be specific, talk about your ranges, give values in your can, and let's take a look. Electricity demand in gigawatt hours. And the first thing I might do is try to figure out what the long-term trend is. If I kind of scan this graph, I notice that eh, it's not too steep, but there is a slight increase. Each of the peaks is kind of a little bit higher than the peak before. Each of the troughs is slightly higher than before. And I could kind of put a long-term trend on there that was doing something sort of like that. So it is slightly increasing. So over the long term from um, 92 to 95, the amount of electricity demand in gigawatt hours increases slightly. And let's try and be specific. So the peak here in March is at 40, and the peak in 95 for March is at, you know, I guess that's not really peak, sorry. The value there for March in 92 is roughly 40, and the value in March in 95 is like 45 roughly. So from March 92 to March 95, an increase of roughly 5 gigawatt hours. Our short-term trend? Well, here we can see that the peaks happen in June and September, and the troughs are down here in the December and March time frame. So if you think about that, June and September are usually winter, so the seasonal trend is higher with peaks in June and September, the winter months, or the cold months, and troughs in March and um, December. The summery months. Just to make it simple and compare winter to summer. So, what we notice again, more electricity gets used in the winter and that makes sense. People are cold, trying to heat their homes, it gets dark early so the lights are on more often. And in summer, 
less need for heat, the electricity demand does go down. So in the long term here we see that it increases. In the short term we can see that the range is roughly the same and it is always generally higher in the winter and lower in the summer. As far as anything unusual, there's not really much to talk about. Um, I guess you could if you want to. You notice that this value here for what is that um, September is slightly higher than the June, whereas most of the time September is lower than the June, so that could be a slight outlier. So we could say was that September 93? So September 93, the peak is unusually high compared to June. So it is a peak generally, but here it's just a little bit higher than June, which is unusual than the other three years that have been given to us. So that would be an example of one description to go through. If we take a look at these next ones, I might just talk to them quickly. Um, the avocado scale sales here, watch your units, that means thousands of dollars. So here, uh, the long-term trend you might say that there was a slight decrease, um, but it's generally increasing again. And the short-term trends, we see here that sales peak in September and trough in March. Um, However, in September of 01, there must have been a really bumper crop, a really great growing season for avocados. So that would be what you could talk about there. So, um, so you can pause that if you want to write the whole thing. But again, my long-term trend decreases slightly in 02 and 03 and increases, or seems to recover. Um, my seasonal peaks are in September, and my troughs are in March, and in o September 01 I had a sale that was unusually high, around 87,000. Remember that's in thousands. So it's 87,000, roughly 2,000 above any other September. Um, and yeah, that's how you'd go about writing it. So if we look at white bread sales, again if I just talk through this, you notice we have days of the week down at the bottom. Um, the peaks here usually happen, it appears to be on Mondays. Uh, mid-peak on Wednesday, and another peak kind of on, maybe that's Sunday? Roughly Monday-Sunday time frame? Hard to read exactly off of there. Here we've got an unusually low number. That one might have happened, um, what's a possible reason? This could be an outlier. Uh, maybe the bakery burnt all its bread. Maybe they ran out of flour. Uh, maybe it was a public holiday and they didn't actually sell anything except for to a few friends. So there's reasons for that. So here the short-term trend. Um, we see the peaks on Mondays. Um, and again on Mondays. The highest peaks here are usually on Mondays. And there's a little midweek peak usually on Wednesdays as well. So the troughs are usually Tuesdays and Thursdays. And um, yeah, there's the one outlier there. The long-term trend here. It is increasing ever so slightly. If you take a look at just along those bottom points there, the mins, you'll notice those generally increase just by a tiny bit. And same with the peaks. The peaks here, kind of excluding that weird week, um, generally a slight increase there. So a long-term trend here does have a slight increase. Your peaks would be on Mondays um, with a little mini peak on kind of Wednesday in the middle of the Tuesday, Thursday lows. So that's what I would go on to talk about with that one.